ULDC text amendments, text 2015-01. Again, the main focus is the Moody Activity Zoning Districts. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, continue to make progress on this. Try to give you uh, really just a slate of current information as we've continued to work over the last few weeks. Ultimately, we're going back to the Planning Commission tonight. My hope was that I would be able to get a Planning Commission recommendation tonight, um, but it appears that Moody Air Force Base has not yet committed on our latest proposal. So I'm continuing to kind of work with them, try to isolate their concerns and try to get them uh, and us on the same page before moving forward. I think that's happening. Um, ultimately, the last word I heard from them really was Monday night, last Monday night, and it was, you know, we are very close. So I'm encouraged by that, but uh, we continue to make progress. But right now, I think that is, that's the current status. So really, we've given you some information, kind of a cut of where we are currently. Um, but right now, I think that's the most current status is I really don't believe it's worth um, spreading the word until we can get on the same page with Moody and and that that hasn't happened yet but we continue to make progress with them okay so do you foresee this possibly coming back then as another request to table or to withdraw some your thoughts I think both of those are are realistic and solid options certainly the withdrawal gives us some time to go back internally rather than having to keep a report for you mm -hmm. if we table it you know we continue to use the momentum that we have now um, and so I think both of those are absolutely worth discussing I think we have two or three options depending on how we want to move forward but I wanted to really honestly get on the same page with Mr. Pritchard get some feedback from the Planning Commission tonight and I'll be able to report back to you all tomorrow okay any questions Yes, uh, Jason, I noticed in the report it says um, what it was 23 acres that was requested to be uh, moved towards R10 back in 2010, which sparked it. Which, where is that property located at in this county? Yes, well sir. It was, um, it was 20, around 23 acres off of Davidson Road. If you go out to the new gate on Bemis and you take a left where they have the new um, Dollar General on the corner, it's further down the road on Davidson Road on your right. So it was probably, you know, within a half a mile of the new gate on Bemis on the west side of the road. Who, who owns that, Jason? I thought it was a Mr. Davis, sir. Um, I don't remember his first name, but I, I don't, Mr. Fletcher, I thought it was Mr. Davis. But actually that property at this time has absolutely nothing to do with the, with the request on the ULDC. Yes, sir. Only where we feel like if you trace it back to Jason, where did this push start? That's really where it started. But yes, sir, we're not That's trying to rezone doing. anything. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I guess the other question I had from um, uh, Mr. Pritchard was uh, uh, regarding the um, uh, researching or the possibilities of tax release for those who live in the MAZ. Where are we with that? It really is still discussion. Uh, until we um, reach some type of what I consider an agreement with Moody concerning their <coughs> items, um, it would probably be a little premature for us to bring that particular item up until we realize what the impact is going to be on those properties, and then we would come back with a recommendation to you how to address those uh, as a potential solution. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. Basically, once we, all right, because yeah, that at the end of the day, um, I, I know every time this topic comes up, the community gets an uproar, and I'm hoping that whenever we deal with this, this be like the last time, because this is kind of like what we would deal with me as well as the chairman. The time when we got in the office, we had to look at this thing, and I'm hoping that Correct. we don't have to face it no more. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if really, uh, Commissioner, if the terminology the last time of course we we certainly would like to think that when we do take a look at something like this it is for the last time but keeping keeping in mind that, that again uh, going back as far as the beginning of the ULDC uh, we have a responsibility as a commission to look at any ordinance that we have any of our documents to make sure that they do fit uh, the times um, and certainly that's part of what we're going through right now with the uh, the request with the MAZ. Uh, the MAZ is a great document. It's, it's recognized all the way across the country in the Department of Defense um, as being basically a, a groundbreaker in that area. And we want to continue to do that. But then reality is, is that if you have an ordinance like that, then an ordinance of any kind, you should be able to take it down and look at that, review it, and see if the times have changed to where you may need to make some adjustments. And that's really all this is. We want to look at the things that needs to be 
addressed uh, that has come before staff in the past. Um, and so, you know, we're going to look at those. And then if we decide that once we get through with it, there might be some needs for some other, um, some, some other additional things that we need to address, then certainly we can move forward as a commission and address those issues. Yes. And uh, another thing I think I brought up to Jason as well as the uh, county manager was uh, that we make sure we include in those conversations about the, the future 835s or what have you, not just the current mission in the 810s, but the missions that they're looking for in the future. Sure. Again, that's part of it, and that's the reason why we need to recognize that this is, as we, as when we, when I served on the planning commission, we, we, that's when the ULDC came into being, and it was basically presented to the community as a living, breathing document, you might say, so that you can take it down and address issues that may arise. And so, certainly, change of mission is might be another reason why that document might have to come down again and be relooked at, and might even have to be enhanced. So those are the. That's the good thing about doing this, and so we'll move forward with that, and hopefully we'll find a good common ground, both both for the ordinance itself and for the community out there as well. Any other questions? Okay, let's move on.